I can just pull up anywhere I want, like I am right now, right beside the Burnett River. In one minute and 15 seconds, I can make two cappuccinos. So what we have here is an espresso pod coffee machine. In my case, a full automatic coffee machine that uses these little pods. There's something like eight or ten different coffees that's, that's already pre-programmed into the menu. So that, and that's making the espresso shot. So that is now drawing 1,200. So we're now going to pour this in here. And that is a perfect cappuccino. Ah. Good morning. Welcome to the banks of the beautiful Burnett River. I'm down at a location here near Bundaberg, just past the famous Bundaberg rum distillery called Kirby's Wall. So in case you're, you're stuck in a cave somewhere for the last goodness knows how many years, What's a coffee pod machine? <laughs> Just so happens, I can demonstrate what a coffee pod machine is and how great they work for us campers, especially if you've got 240 volt. Well, in fact, you will need 240 volt to run one of these. So a coffee machine, it's virtually, in my case, a full automatic coffee machine that uses these little pods. There's coffee in there. Because you would have seen in some of my videos in the past, I've got a little coffee kit here and my good old trusty Drifter canvas bag. I've always been intrigued in these automatic machines because guys, they're so much quicker and there's no mucking around us. In one minute and 15 seconds, I can make two cappuccinos. That's all it takes. One minute, 15 seconds to make two cappuccinos. And how does it do that so quick? I'm using a Nespresso, as you're aware. This is from a company called Breville. And what this is called is a Creatista Pro. So it's pretty much a fully automatic coffee machine but not only is it a coffee machine this here makes lattes cappuccinos espressos there's even something called a latte macchiato if you go back on my video about two weeks ago you'll see a short video where I'm making a latte macchiato so let's pretend we've pulled up at a rest stop let's make a cappuccino you've got to make sure you get one that's going to work with your system. What I mean by that, in particular, your inverter. So you must have an inverter that will match the coffee machine. You must have a coffee machine that will match the inverter. So this one here can draw anywhere up to about 2,800, I think it is, 2,800 to 3,000 watts. And then go and buy a 1,600 watt inverter and expect it to work. But in my case, it will work because Shore power. I don't know if you can see there, but I've got a 15 amp caravan input. And it just so happens I've got my generator here. But hey, you're probably thinking, but geez, does that mean every time he wants a coffee, he's got to run a generator? And I'm thinking, that means he's going to pull up at a rest area and there'll be people sitting there or people camping and he's going to pull out a generator every time he's going to have a coffee. No, <laughs> no, that's the beauty with this. Even though, guys, my, I've got a Multi Plus, Victron Multi Plus, and what that is, it's got a AC charger and it's got an inverter built into one. So we won't go too much into details on the specifics of that. I've got some other videos coming up soon 
to talk about more so the Victron Multi Plus. But one of the big advantages with this one is it's got a feature called Power Assist. That's like a 1600 watt inverter on there. But then you're thinking, hey, you've got a, a coffee machine that will put out up to nearly around about 2800 watts. So you might think, yeah, that's a lot, but up to. Remember I said up to. One of the unique features of the Creatista Pro, the Breville, the Nespresso Creatista Pro, it's got two burners in it. Okay, two burners. One for your coffee, one for your milk frother. So that's what you see here, that's a milk frother. So what that means is that it can run both at the same time. All right? So it's virtually two different machines built into one, but runs at the same time. So it's got your pod machine here, boils the water and produces your coffee. And then you've got your milk frother. Most of these type of coffee machines have got both or one or the other are separate or they don't have the milk frother. And I love my cappuccinos and lattes, guys. I'm more a cappuccino drinker than coffee. So that's why I wanted something like this. But the unique feature with this, okay, and I'm going to demonstrate this. The unique feature with this is that you can run one at a time. So I can make my coffee once that's finished, then I can make my milk for the latte, the frothing milk. And how you do that, it's all to do with this touch screen menu. You can select which process you want to do. So there's an automatic feature where you press that, it does it all at once. And that's why I can do two cappuccinos in a minute and 15 seconds. And guys, I've timed it and I've done it, and it is true. You can have two cappuccinos done in a minute 15. So what we're gonna do now, is I'm gonna show you that feature, how quick it is to make a cappuccino. So how am I gonna do it? I've got a MultiPlus 2000 V Hay here, which is rated at 1600 watts max. And that's only if the temperature is below 25 degrees Celsius. I can go to my app, the VRM portal. So you see, as you, if you watch the videos in the past, you'll see my system has got the VRM portal. So have a look at this, if you can see that. Let's try to get that focus there. So what that's telling me, okay, you can see my battery is at 95.9% .9 charge. 26 degrees so internal te the temperature inside the vehicle in the cab right now is 26 degrees so we're actually at that ballpoint we are going to get 1600 watts out out of that inverter no problems at all but i'm running both which will put out probably about up to 2800 watts now this does it very quick guys this is very quick as i men mentioned i can debrew in a minute and 15 seconds, I can do up two cappuccinos. Now how it does that is it's got a three second boil up time. So it only takes three seconds to boil the water for the coffee. So once I turn this on, you'll notice straight away in three seconds, that water's already boiled. I've got a little generator here, it's Honda generator. So what I'm gonna do right now, guys, so I'm going to connect this up, start it up, so I can show you how quick I can brew a coffee. But then I'm going to show you how you can still use this with a 1600 watt inverter without using shore power or without using a generator. And that's by that unique feature of selecting one process at a time. Let's connect this generator up and then let's make a coffee.
Now, I don't know if you, about you, but can you hear how quiet this is, guys? So you're going to hear it rev up just a tad now because the uh, multi plus is switched off at the moment so I'm just going to switch it on and it takes about 20-30 seconds odd seconds to before it starts up because it goes through a process where it checks that everything's right and you can hear it's just starting up now. So that generator is now producing 804 watts and it's charging the battery at 50 amps. So what I'm doing here right now is actually a minimum mark and a maximum mark for the milk. So there's a minimum amount for the milk. The minimum amount is enough for one cappuccino. The maximum mark is enough to do uh, two cappuccinos. So now we're gonna grab a pod. pod goes inside here I'm going to turn it on now I'm just going to increase the revs up a tad on the Honda so you might have heard that go up just a tad so that's a full revs right now I'm bringing the screen up there so right now the battery's at 99% so now I've got the cappuccino button here. So I'm just going to press the cappuccino button. Now with this, and I'll show you on the screen later, it's got a touch screen here, so when we make the other second coffee later, without the inverter on, I'm going to go through the screen here and show you exactly what I'm pressing, what you see, and some of the features that's on here. So I can also increase the froth of the milk if I like, but I'm just going to leave it standard. You can also adjust the temperature of the milk. So of course I better remember to put the milk in here. So I've got the pot in there. Being a cappuccino cup, it's a little bit smaller. I'm going to press the button here now and you're going to see how quick this is. There it is. So you saw that instant. Now we are drawing 2,200 Now you can see the milk frother is running as well So the coffee's done Now the milk is just almost finished Now I don't know about you guys, I'm not very far away from the generator here and I'm just talking in a normal voice. So these Honda generators are very, very quiet. And that's it. That is completed. Now all we do next is we will lift this up just tap that there and it's got nice frothing it does a very good this milk frother is awesome then the only cleaning you need to do basically is that it's just wiping now look at this it's got a self cleaning mode it'll actually go through and cleans itself so there's no cleaning involved all I have to do next is just wipe that and it's all done so that's your coffee all done and we've got a strong little espresso you can see the awesome little what do you call that? Cram? So it's got the cram. Don't forget that in focus there. So you can see it's got the nice soda cram. And then all we do now is just pour that coffee in and look at all that. So there you go, guys. Look at all that nice, lovely froth in there. And I've still got a little bit more froth in there. Another unique feature of this one guys, and it's only the Pro that comes with this, is that I can also, I've got a button here where I can press 
and that's coming out with hot water. Now you saw how quick, pretty much the instant I push that button, hot water's coming out. So that's boiling hot water coming out of that right now. So I can rinse my cups and then switch it off. And that also gives it a rinse cycle. And now with that hot water, and I'll just tip that out. So it saves up a fair bit on the washing as well. So, I don't know about you guys, but that's a nice cappuccino there. You can see the froth. Look at that perfect line there. And there's one drink you can make on this, it's called a latte macchiato. And you should see the different layers of the colours that's in the glass when you make that one. The specs given on this coffee machine, it says that it can draw up to 2800 watts. But I was looking at the gauge there and the most it was drawing was up to 2200 watts. So remember I'm running an inverter that's only producing 1600 watts. How does that work? 1600 watt inverter, 2200 watts coming out of that. Now because I was using the generator, so what that's doing, and that was putting in, I noticed that was putting in 1600 watts because on the multi plus, I can dial down the maximum amp input that goes through the system so that I don't overload the generator. So that leaves 600 watts. So where does that come from? That power assist, so what does that mean? So power assist. So with the multi plus, I can control how much input that comes in from shore power, in my case right now, the generator. So right now I've got it set at 8 amps. I normally have it set at 6.5 amps for the generator. But because I'm putting a fairly big load on it, I upped it to 8 amps so that that generator will get up to at least 1600, maybe even 17, 1800 watts. In fact, I think I saw it go up to 1800 watts because it was still charging the battery. The extra 600 watts is coming from the battery, my lithium battery, okay? So when I'm running AC power, that's from either shore power or the generator, it does not go through the inverter. It bypasses the inverter. So remember, the inverter is capable of 1600 watts. So I can actually run as much as 3000, even probably 4000 watts through that system if I'm using shore power or the generator. So I hope you understand that. As I mentioned, I'm gonna have a video on this and I'll try to explain it in as simple term as possible. So that's what power assist. So with the power assist feature, it allows me to get away on using a smaller inverter. Hence, it saves weight in your vehicle. So that Multi Plus has got AC charger and it's got the inverter built into one. And it weighs 13 kilos. And it's quite a compact. In fact, the one I've got is called a Victron Compact Multi Plus 12 2000 80. So what the 12 means, it's a 12 volt system. So you can get them for 24 volt or you can get them for 48 volt battery systems as well. 2000 is a 2000 VA. Which, it, which equates to 1600 watts. 80 is how much up to 80 amps I can put into the battery charge rate. Okay, so I'm running a single lithium battery cell here of 105 amps capacity. The suggested charge rate is between 20 to 50 amps. So I'm running 50 amps through it. But eventually I'm going to update to that battery with something that can handle that full 80 amps. Let's try this cappuccino out, shall we? Look at that froth. I forgot to bring the...
chocolate topping on. Look at that. This here makes as good a coffee as any coffee I've ever purchased, even at some of the best cafes that I've been to. Ah, in my case, it's a cappuccino. And it's nice and hot too. It's still really hot. And that, that's a big advantage with the Creatista Pro, the Nespresso Creatista Pro, is that you can control the temperature on the milk itself. Most of them, you cannot do that. With this, I can control how much foroth, <laughs> and this came out a bit weird. With this, I can control how much froth it produces and the temperature of the milk. Now I can go a lot hotter with this milk. This is the default temperature setting, which is about halfway, and it's still very hot. So I've been sitting here talking, while well, standing here, talking to you guys for some time now, and I've still got to wait for this coffee to cool down a bit. And in fact, the cups I'm using, I've got these, these are from DeLonghi. These are awesome. They're double layered. And that's really hot and I've got no problems holding this. So you don't need a handle on these. And that's these type of cups here. And I picked this up at Harvey Norman. Luckily here, Harvey Norman sells these. are DeLong, what are they called? DeLonghi. DeLonghi cappuccino glasses. And you've got two cups in there and they're 190 mils. So what I've got here, what this makes is 190 mil. Now you might think that's a bit small for cappuccino. What if you want to make something a bit larger? But guys, hang on, I'm just going to take a sip of this. <sighs> that's nice. You can actually do that. You can even make it smaller. There's also a feature in there, and I'll show you so shortly. It's all to do with that touch screen. So it's like a, it's like a phone and such. You just flick through the menus and you go through the menus and you can adjust the temperature, the volumes, the froth amount, the strength of the coffee. You can add more coffee. You can do less type of coffees. And we'll go through there and I'll show you all that shortly. So that's the thing. You can actually adjust how much volume it is. So you can actually make, and you can also do two pods and make a double strength coffee as well. Now, I've had some people tell me that, nah, pods, you're never going to get coffee as good in the pod as you do with fresh coffee beans. And yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, if you're a real coffee, you know, expert as such, then yeah, it's definitely, I probably would agree with that. Your coffee beans, I want to set with someone I you knew me. <laughs> it's just a car going past blowing their horn. There's a guy who's pulled up not far from me. He's probably wondering why who I'm talking to, but hopefully you can see the camera. And uh, he's probably about 20 meters down here and he's gone for a fish on the banks of the Burnett River here. Used to catch a lot of fish here, particularly brim. Awesome brim here. But if you got a boat. You can get some good fish in here at times with the boat. Let's have another one of these there. Ah, I forgot what we're talking about, guys. Oh, pods. All right. Mm. That's nice. That's right. Pods. A lot of people tell me these not taste as good. And they're expensive yeah now I, I don't agree if they're not tasting as good Nespresso has their own flavored coffee brand all right and they are really nice and they've got many different varieties and it just so happens that when you buy the Creatista Pro it comes with this Nespresso coffee pod sample package which I believe has got 14, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. It's got 14 pods in here. These are nice, guys. These are nice. But you can't walk into any shop and purchase these. 
These are only available on mail order and they're not cheap. All right, so most of these you're looking at 80 cents per pod. You're looking at 80 cents per pod. So, but guys, for traveling on the road, for a quick coffee brew, they're perfect. Now there are cheaper pods out there. There are cheaper pods, such as Lavazzo. Lavazza. You can buy these. I purchased these the same time where I, when I bought the Crea Tista Pro here from Harvey Norman. I got that from Harvey Norman, guys. And these coffees are 30 in a puck. Okay, there's 30. And these were $13. Okay, $13. That's not bad. That, that's a lot cheaper than what the Nespresso is. And to be honest, guys, there's not a lot of difference in the taste. Yes, these do taste better. All right, they do taste better. But do they taste good enough to want to spend $80 on, say, 100 pods? Well, let's say $8 on 10 pods. Whereas these 30 pods, and they're $13. So what's that? $4.30 or something? $4.30 for 10 pods compared to $8. In fact, some of these are over a dollar each. These are not bad. I don't mind these. They're not bad for the price. But let's go back to what people tell me but they're never going to taste as good as your roasted fresh coffee beans where you get in a grinder, grind them up, fresh beans, put them in the machine and have your coffee. Yeah, that's probably going to be true. But there's a product that you can get and it so happened to arrive in the mail the other day that it will allow me to grind up my own fresh coffee beans and use them. So that's going to mean it's going to be as good as any coffee out there that you can make on just about any machine. And what they are is uh, reusable pods. Now there are many manufacturers of these reusable pods. I did some research and watched many, I can't figure out how this box opens now, and watched many YouTube videos on these. And the one I went for, after watching numerous, excuse me back, after watching numerous videos on this, is this fella here, I'm just going to close the box up here, and let you have a good look. I if you can read that, but these are called seal pod reusable capsules. So what they are is they're a stainless steel pod. All right, very similar and somewhat to your regular pods here that you can see here. This is what they look like. They come like this. They got little. A little holder on the bottom here but that serves two purposes so when you're filling your your pot up you put that flat on the table but it also seals now if I grab one of these other pods now in this example this is a Lavazza you'll see that it's not stainless steel okay so it's got the lid on the top what happens when you put your pot in it perforates a couple of three holes down the bottom and numerous holes on the top here and through water pressure through that hot water it pushes it forces the water through this it comes out into a cappuccino cup but the seal pot is stainless steel however it's got those holes already perforated so what does this stops what stops this from damaging your Nespresso machine 
coffee pod machine. They're a little bit shorter. They're a little bit shorter, okay? So that way when you put that in, it doesn't, the spikes doesn't reach all the way here, therefore damaging your coffee machine. Now what that means, particularly in most of these type of reusable stainless steel pods, what that means is that you're going to be able to get less coffee in these and generally it means that the coffee's not quite as strong. Majority of them also have a screw on stainless steel lid on the top with the holes already perforated inside it. So again, it's got to be shorter that means there's going to be even less coffee. So, how does seal pod get over that disadvantage? By using aluminium sticker lids. So you can purchase these in a, in a packet of 100. I've got 100 here. And I saw online you can purchase these for $13 per 100. Okay. So yeah, that's going to add a little bit more cost to your coffee production, all right? But guys, if you really want a nice coffee, stronger coffee, this one here, this setup here, you'll get more coffee inside here than what you would in those other ones with the stainless steel lid in them. In fact, when you look at the specifications for those ones with the stainless steel screw-on lid on them, they suggest to use two pods. Otherwise, they're going to be quite weak. Now, in saying that, these, I find, are still, depending on the coffee beans you use, I find these are still a little bit weaker than some of these pods that are here. So it depends on the coffee beans you use. So when you want to use these resealable pods, you want to get a strong coffee beans, like a dark roast, something like that. Really strong for a really strong espresso, and it's perfect. Otherwise, guys, you can use two. You can use two pods. There's no problems with using two pods. So when you purchase these, you can purchase in kits. You can either purchase in a kit with two pods, or you can purchase in a kit with five pods. So I purchased a kit with five pods. And I so happen to have one here that I've, re that I've made up. So all I did is I used my little coffee hand grinder and I've grind up some coffee to a fine. You want to grind it fine and then you want to pat it down as well. So when you get these kits, it comes with this little cup here to assist little scoop here that assists with filling the coffee up. So you fill it up and you push it down, fill it up, push it down. Make sure you've got that part all clear. Grab one of these sticker, aluminium sticker pods, pads, and put them on the top. So when that goes through the coffee machine, that perforates through there and then it pushes the coffee through. The thing with these, as I showed you before, on the bottom, they got the holes already made. The advantage of having this cup here, this rubber cup over the back, is that it keeps your coffee fresh. So there's no air getting in. Otherwise, if you take that off, air's gonna get into your coffee, and in no time, you're gonna lose some quality there. So whether you notice a difference, if you're like a barista and you're you really love your coffee and you want the best coffee, well then you use these, you cover them up, make them the morning before you leave or the day before, store them in a nice cool place, and then in my case, I bought the kit with sub five of these pods, and then I can have five of these coffees ready to go. The coffees taste awesome, absolutely brilliant. This is a really nice coffee, I don't mind this one. It's 60% Columbia San Furman and 40% Ethiopian. It's got a chocolate taste, toffee and plum. It's got a really distinct chocolate flavor to this one here. But with this one here, even though it says it's espresso blend, it's not a very strong espresso blend. So I recommend if you're using this one, to use two of those pods 
and that will give you a really nice strong coffee and when I say strong it is strong some of you are probably fine the one pot is more than enough but I like a fairly strong coffee now there are coffee beans you can get that are a lot stronger than that and they'd be ideal if you only want to stick to the one pod for you guys that whinge about these not tasting so good and to be honest particularly the Nespresso brand coffee pods they taste really good but there is a way you can use your fresh beans so guys, I've still got my coffee here. I actually forgot. I've been sitting here talking that long. I actually forgot that I had this coffee here. That's still hot. So let me finish this coffee off. And I'm going to show you how you use this without extra power coming in, such as shore power on my generator. <sighs> Let's show you how this now works so I've got the coffee pod here so we work that in and we press that in turn it on so you can see if we go through the menu I hope you can see all this so we start at the top you got all these different I think there's something like eight or ten different coffees that's that's already pre-programmed into the menu so we've got ristrito espresso Lungo, Long Black, Flat White, Cappuccino, Cafe Latte, Latte Macchiata, and Milk Only. Now you notice we've got Milk Only, and then we've got Espresso Only. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to do a shot of Espresso. When that's finished, then I'll go into the Milk Froth. And that's how I can use this without overdrawing on my inverter so I don't need to run shore power or generator so I can pull up somewhere the rest stop and make me coffee now but I want to show you something before I do that let's go to cappuccino and we click on a cappuccino so all I've got to do now if I want to make a cappuccino I hit that button and that will make the cappuccino in about a minute 15 seconds but remember before I told you you can actually adjust your coffee volume and in fact you can see the coffee volume over actually have adjusted it so it's a little bit stronger because as I mentioned I like a strong coffee so you can actually by coffee volume adjust this and you will see how it goes up and down on the cup now default is set on that I go just a little bit above default right there I find it's ideal and it will save that setting same as the milk so the milk froth I can adjust how much milk froth I can use and I can also adjust the temperature of the milk and in fact I've actually got that temperature turned up probably a little bit high there no wonder that coffee was so hot I like it just set at the standard temperature there so now you can create your own coffee blend and save it and here okay you can create and save so we'll go out of that you can see all the different types of co coffee you can make and you've got your milk choc milk only as well that's really nice for chocolate drinks guys if you do the milk on its own and then put in some chocolate powder this makes a really nice chocolate drink latte macchiato that's really nice but what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you <clears throat> how I use this when I pull up with an inverter that's a maximum 1600 watts. So right now I'll hit the espresso shot, I'll hit the espresso. So that, and that's making the espresso shot. So that is now drawing 1200 sorry 1127 that my system can handle no problems whatsoever so now that's finished so we'll go out of that now we just scroll down to the bottom and go to the milk press that and hit that so I'm running one item at a time 
So now that's stirring the milk. And now that is drawing 1100 amp, uh, watts amps. <laughs> so it's drawing 1100 watts. So my battery, my lithium battery, was at 99% when I started this. So it's now on 97%. It's drawing 112 amps out of my battery and these this particular lithium battery I've got on here has got a continuous discharge of 150 amps. So still now it's drawing I've still drawn 1100 it's just dropped down to 780 right now now it's just dropped down to 24 so it's finished. That's it, it's all finished. So what we do now is we will remove this. So you can see that, give this a wipe, drop that and have a look. Go through that self-cleaning mode that I mentioned before. And that's basically it guys. Now we've got our, our coffee here, so hopefully you can see this. So we're now going to pour this in here. And that is a perfect cappuccino. And my battery is at 96%. So that used 3%, only 3% out of my battery. So now we can give this a rinse by just pressing that button there and that's got the just the hot water comes out on its own. Where you put the water, the water is at the back here and this will store two litres of water as well. So as simple as that you can give you a cup of rinse and then when you arrive at camp later on you can give that a good wash and after you're done you just switch it off like so and put it away drink have your coffee jump in the car and continue your trip have a look at this nice cup of coffee we just made look at all that nice froth on the top Perfect, absolutely perfect. Ah, oh, that's actually stronger. That's nice. Ah, that's really nice. So, go and check these out, guys. The Crea Tista Pro, it's an espresso coffee pod machine. So it's called an Espresso Crea Tester Pro. This particular one is bought out by Breville. They're available at Good Guys online. You can search for them online as well. And Harvey Norman also sells them. Harvey Norman currently has a sale. I picked this one up for nearly $100 off the recommended retail price. Now they're not cheap. They're not cheap. But they're also not expensive. But they will produce a coffee that will equal just about any other machine out there because of the unique features where you can use these because of the unique feature we can use these resealable pods. So I definitely advise if you're going to get one of these Nespresso machines, this is a standard size. You can get these pods, stainless steel pods, and I find the seal pod makes a stronger coffee because you can get more volume into them without making two pods all the time. Now there's no issues, there's no problems with doing two pods, particularly if you buy the kit that's got the five pods, or even if you buy the kit that's only got the two pods and you're only making a coffee for yourself and you want a strong coffee, then you can use those two pods. But if you're a couple, and most of the time you will be traveling as a couple, then purchasing the five pod kit 
is ideal because then you can pre-prepare your five pods for the day's traveling and then you'll be able to have both of you will be able to have a double dose of coffee and if you so happen to have run out you want more coffee than one per day well then just go and pick yourself up some of these these are good enough these make a nice coffee this is pretty strong guys you can buy these at Lavasa you can buy its espresso brand and the intensity is 12. They've got a 10 or 11, I believe, and also 12. I'll definitely recommend the, the 12, particularly if you like a stronger coffee. So guys, thanks for watching my video. Go and check these out, guys. If you've got a UBU awesome setup like I have here, and as long as you've got at least a 2000 watt inverter, we can see I've actually managed to run it through a 1600 watt inverter. I wouldn't go anything less than that. So make sure you've got something that'll produce a minimum 1600 watts. Just to make sure, you know, you're not overdoing your inverter, particularly when the weather gets warmer. And you too would be able to have a coffee like this. And I don't know if you can see that. As good as any coffee I've got in any cafe around Australia. In fact, it's better than most, particularly if you use your own coffee beans, as I showed before. But in this instance, I've actually used these Lavazza. You can also get these at Woolies and Coles, I believe. They also sell these on the shelves as well. So they're worth a try. So guys, thanks for watching. This is a lot longer video than I expected it, but I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. So I'm going to go home, pack up and edit this video and try to get it out for you guys to watch tonight. So most of my videos that I film, they're actually uploaded the same day that I'm filming them, guys. So this one I might need an extra day because this is a long video, but I think it's really worth it. So please subscribe, helps my channel out enormously if, if you subscribe. If you've got any questions about anything to do with my system, keep an eye, ask down below, or keep an eye out for my live videos. I'm going to start doing more regular live videos now. I did one last weekend, well, I think it was last weekend, might have been last Thursday night, last Thursday night. They went for, actually went for three hours. And it was awesome, it was great. I had some really good questions asked. And so hopefully you guys asked those questions. Um, I helped you there. Uh, but we're gonna do it again. So next time I'll give you more notice so you guys won't miss out. Usually when I do a live feed, I just, it's out of the blue. I just think, oh, a bit bored. Might go look for something to do and I think, oh well, why not do a live feed? <laughs> in fact I was nearly thinking about doing one today but then I would have had to carry too much gear with me and I knew this video was going to take a while so so guys ask any questions anything you want to know anything to do my setup particularly during the live feed and till next time look after yourself eh and cheers <laughs>